little Rockefeller uh, coming around here, just ran nice second at Chepstow two weeks ago. Um, we're going to try him again over fences at Sandown in, in a fortnight's time. Um, but plans are still quite fluid for him as what he'll do for the rest of the season, uh, whether we stay chasing or go hurdling. Um, the attempts at Cheltenham could be a possibility if we go back over hurdles, that would be his target. Um, but we're really just going to play it by ear, see how we get on the next chase and then make a proper plan after that. Um, but he's, um, he's in great form this autumn, deserves to come and win another one. Brandon Castle, who won three for us uh, on the bounce last season at Plumpton under Bryony, uh, made all the running on those occasions. Um, we probably went a bridge too far running this in the Supreme at Cheltenham, but on the back of what he'd done, we thought it was the right thing to do. Um, the ground went terribly soft against him that day. Um, he'll come back and look at hurdles in the early part of the season, like the Michaelmas hurdle at Hunterdon, and we'll also have an entry in the Greatwood at Cheltenham uh, in November. And uh, we'll see where he takes us. Some um, uh, races in the spring, like the National Spirit of Fontwell, I think, would have his name written all over him. Um, but uh, I think he'd be better without the ground being too soft. Um, he's in great form this autumn. We feel he's improved at home. Um, should be a whole lot of fun again. Princeton Royale came bounced back to form in the spring with a nice win at um, Ascot on uh, uh, his seasonal debut and then ran a really good race, finished second in one of the 50 grand uh, handicaps at uh, Paydock. Um, he's had a break since then, uh, we'll be back out uh, probably middle of November. Um, we'd like to try and move the national fences one day off his mark at the moment. He, he would nearly squeeze into the national itself, but um, whether we'd run him the beach to chase first and just have a look at one of those races. But um, he's been a decent servant over the years. He's one of his nine or ten chases for us. Um, he's just worked this morning, worked nice, and uh, be out again soon. But he's a horse more to focus on the spring, I feel, when the ground's better for him. Flintrock is a smashing little horse, a new one to us, um, who was quite a smart performer for Andrew Boulding on the flat. And uh, we can't wait to see him over hurdles this year. Um, he's got a little bit of a quirk to him, but a very, very talented horse. Um, he's loving his schooling and very much looking forward to getting him out over hurdles. Farn is a uh, probably the most exciting horse for anyone to put in their tent to follow for the year. Um, she's a smashing mare by Sturway who did nothing wrong last year. She was second in her first two bumpers. She ran a really huge race to finish third in a listed race at Sandown and then was fourth in the mare's bumper at Aintree. Um, she will be uh, going straight over hurdles now, obviously, and um, she could be anything. She's not, she was never made for bumpers. She is a steeplechase is what she is. And I hold her in the highest regard. I think she could be one of the top mares in the country over hurdles this year.